What's up y'all, this is King Leno. I'm a community creator for CG Skylines, and today I'm collaborating with Perox Interactive, and I'll be sharing tips for using the asset editor to get more customization from some of the assets you're using, as well as highlighting some of the community resources available for those interested in creating custom content. The asset editor can be an extremely powerful tool to use to customize your cities without necessarily having to use mods and you don't have to be an asset creator to take advantage of the features of the editor. One of the first tips is that you can use the asset editor to customize vanilla and workshop assets. To edit a vanilla building, you need to create a new asset, choose building, and choose the template of the building you want to change. Be sure to check load existing props, and you want to choose import from default. From this screen, you can also change the size or scale of the building by adjusting the number one. Once that's loaded in, you will have an exact duplicate of the asset. You can remove whatever props you don't want, add custom props, change the lot size, and adjust some colors. To save the asset, you want to give it a unique file name and a unique asset name. Your new asset will not replace the existing vanilla building. It's important to know, all of your custom assets will be saved locally in this folder, and will always need to be in this folder whenever you want the asset available. Subscribing to a lot of workshop assets and mods will affect the speed and performance of the asset editor, and some mods are created specifically for in-game play. You can disable some of these mods, or use the No Workshop startup tag to disable all custom assets from loading. If you want to have access to certain workshop props and assets while using the editor, then using No Workshop may not be the best option. Consider using a shared family Steam account in which you only subscribe to assets you want to use in the editor. By using a separate Steam account, use the family sharing option to share your version of City Skylines with this account on the same computer. This account will almost act as a fresh install of the game. This will allow the asset editor to function at normal speeds while still having access to select workshop assets and mods. For those that are interested in not just customizing existing assets, but creating completely custom models, there are many online resources available. One of the first resources that I took advantage of was the modding discussion forum on Simtropolis. There are extensive posts from asset creators that cover a range of topics and specific situations that you may encounter. The official City Skylines wiki has a detailed section for using the asset editor. It will also explain all of the building settings, properties, and options. CSLModding.info is another great site for specific and detailed information about using the asset editor, creating custom models, and modding in general. You can find YouTube tutorials through the resources that I've already pointed out. I've also created a playlist on my channel of tutorials that I posted and from other creators that are helpful for getting started. Both Prez and Taser have gone into details on their YouTube channels on how they use the asset editor to customize entire neighborhoods, which are also linked in the playlist. These are just a few tips and resources for using the asset editor and creating custom content. I hope that y'all found some of the information helpful and feel inspired to start customizing your own assets. If you have any questions about using the asset editor, feel free to leave a comment here on this video and subscribe here to the official CD Skylines YouTube channel for more great tutorials. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time.